All right, guys, welcome back to Every Day with me, Nick. I'm Nick. That exciting day has arrived. Part one of excitement, anyway. Um, but first of all, I've just turned up to the uh, sawmill site, uh, the original site, and chicken behind me, and the grass desperately needs cutting. So, I'm going to get this field cut. I've neglected it for a couple of weeks now. So I need to get on with that, um, otherwise it'll just get too much. Uh, so the, the one that we're going to use is uh, a Ransom's uh, cylinder mower. It is a Parkway 2250 plus, so it's, uh, it's the biggest horsepower one I think it is. And uh, out there, come on. And uh, yeah, it's a good mower. Now I did drop it down for some like finished height stuff, but because this is um, this is grown up a lot, I'm going to lift all the uh, lift these up, lift this part. I just put a, put a spanner on this this nut here and lift this up. I'll probably lift it up one full ring, and that'll be enough. But I'll have to get it out to start with, and uh, so I can get some, so I can get it out here and get uh, get it adjusted. It probably might go through it all, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. It's a bit too high. It's a bit high actually. So yeah. So I think I'll have to move these this wooden stuff because this is to burn. So I'll have to move that. And then uh, yeah. So let's get some grass cut. That's uh, that's job one to do today. And then we shouldn't be far off from the uh, the guy delivering this next piece of equipment. So thanks for coming back, guys. Stay tuned to what's coming. It's gonna be good. See you guys. Right guys, it's arrived. As you, I don't know if you've seen in the in the video there, it's a log processor. So we've got Richard from RSL Engineering. Where are you based? Watford, isn't it? Yeah. Watford. And um, he, you import these? Yes. 
um, from the Bosworth group on Alibaba. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so Richard just he imports them and he's dealt with the company for a long time so that he has faith in them in what they're doing, you know, fair to say. No, um, so if he, if, he didn't, if he didn't endorse them, he wouldn't keep getting them. So yeah, uh, it cuts up to 16 inch. 16 inches on the maximum that kind of thing but we we may we may push it <laughs> just once or twice um so he's going to show me how it's uh, set up first time he's he's kindly come up in his unimog and uh, dropped it off and he's going to show me and give me a demo of how it works before i just go willy-nilly at it so it's uh, that's greatly appreciated so yeah keep watching and see how, see how we get on well uh, and we'll go through other bits when we get there anyway. So, yes, let's go. Right, Richard, all for you.
I'm glad you did that. I've done that. I was about to say to you, I want to show you what to do <laughs> if you get it stuck and you did it. Yeah, fantastic. So, so first thing to do is lift the lift the wood off. Yeah. And just to, now when you start the engine, the chain won't turn. Okay. okay. That's but all. the bar will still lift. Yeah. But at the moment you've trapped the chain in the wood base. So right, yeah. I find it better just to hold the lever up. Okay. And give the uh, take the weight off it first, release it. And then start it with the engine, um, Start the engine with the cover off, yeah. just in and case there's something, just in case there's something trapped. You know, no. yeah, yeah. So start it now, and then put the cover down and finish it up. <laughs> right guys so there it is richard rsl engineering bosworth uh bosworth bosworth yeah yeah bosworth uh log processor firewood processor the fp 480 f and uh just to close this off i'm gonna go show you richard's uh, unimog because it's freaking awesome and uh yeah so let's close out with that thanks very much guys and thank you richard bye for now Did you design all the body as well? This is this is the PTO system. Ah right. Yes. These are stickers I've created for it as well. So I get all also that right. It's right. especially done, custom done basically, yeah. It's awesome. It's on the road tires instead of ag tires. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, well, uh, it's no point putting ag tires on for road yeah, use, is it? It works about three pence a mile on these tires, whereas on the ag tires about 45 pence. Nice. Not yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's awesome well guys there you have it richard from rsl engineering he's nicely come up he's dropped that off and uh, i'll leave a link to his website uh in the description below uh to website instagram facebook facebook and uh and youtube and go check him out so thanks very much guys we'll see you all on the next video